this is a tutorial for um, a car turning a corner basically this one's really easy um, this car is has a mass M and it has a velocity which is tangential velocity here and then if it's gonna make the corner it's gonna have to have a force here and this is a centripetal force in this case the centripetal force will be equivalent to the friction of the tires on the road as the tires make the turn in that direction around the corner of course the radius is the description of the circle um, that this corner will represent so we're turning in a, a quarter turn here to go uh, to turn the corner and then to make the corner here so the velocity of the car um, is related directly to our turning equation and so our turning equation is FC equals M which is the car V is the velocity of the car squared of course and then the radius is the radius of the turn so this is the force that the person would experience as it turned the corner as the car would experience as it turned the corner so the velocity is going to be uh, solving for this V uh, right there and it will be meters per second now the force is 750 the radius is right there 840 and then of course the mass is 550 right there mass 550 so it's just solving for v squared and remember that when you get to the end you're gonna have v squared equals some number and you're gonna have to take the square root of both sides to get v now this question is attempting to ask you what happens if you go twice as fast so if you go twice as fast you just take this answer and you times it by two and you get twice as fast meters per second then redo the equation right and once you redo the equation um, this number here the resulting force um, the question is will it be twice as fast uh, excuse me twi twice the force or will it be four times the force will it be ten times the force and when you write here just write a number don't write um, two times or four times or ten times just write the number that this number is compared to the original so uh, the question is if we're going twice as fast how much does the force increase and so that's what we're trying to get at when we double the speed here and that's all there really is to it for this question